Trump's been through Judge Carroll's entire career, there's not a single thing we can use as leverage to get him to overturn Michael's sentence. Yes, there is. I just found it. Hey, what do you got for me? Hey, uh, Dante may have found proof that Judge Carroll was compromised. 20-year-old daughter, early in Judge Carroll's career, of a wealthy, connected family. The father developed a lot of waterfront properties on Bayside, Long Island. That little rich girl decides to take a walk on the wild side, starts smuggling drugs with a deadbeat boyfriend, becomes an accessory to murder. And the record says that Judge Carroll overturned the verdict, made the whole thing go away. Well, if anyone's got the means to bribe a judge, it would be Daddy Warbucks. Yeah. So what can you do with it? I'm willing to show this to Judge Carroll. Let him know that if he cuts Michael Corinthos a break, he never has to see the light of day. You would risk it? Yeah. Michael got sent to prison because the adults in his life tried to game the system, and it pisses me off that they used me to do it. So yeah, I don't mind doing a little dirty work if it's for Michael's benefit. But I'm going to need something more concrete if I'm going to accuse a sitting judge. So get some proof to back it up, and we're in business. Proof. I mean, she almost makes it sound like it's going to be easy. Who's that? It's a former prosecutor on Long Island. Turns out the rich daughter was coerced by her boyfriend. He threatened to kill her entire family. So it didn't come out until after the trial because the girl was too scared to testify. A corroborating witness came forward. The verdict was set aside. Judge Carroll made an ethical decision. Well, There's great. nothing for us to use against this guy. That's great. I mean, where were his ethics when he shipped my brother off to bed to build a bullseye on his back? I'm not saying... I wasn't wrong. I'm just saying he's not dirty. Michael saved two lives. Okay, I mean, I mean, did, did he even take that into consideration? No, did, did he even let that register when he when he put him in, in Pendleville with a bullseye on his back? He's a, the kid named Corinthos, okay? He's a target. Now, the Honorable Peter Carroll, he's squeaky clean. We have nothing from his background to convince him to change his mind. At least nothing legitimate. <sighs> Duck, man. Strictly by the book when I brought Michael in. That, that didn't turn out so well, did it? What are you suggesting that I fabricate evidence to squeeze a judge? How desperate are you to get Michael released? Gas me to escort Michael to Pentonville. Sure, it helped him to have a friendly face around. Yeah, well, I had to shackle Michael. I had to watch him say goodbye to his mother, his brother and sister, his cousin. I don't know, man. Maybe it's like my old man says, do you want legal or do you want fair? Would you fabricate evidence against the judge to get Michael's sentence overturned? Would you? If it was the only key to Michael's release? Look, I know this isn't fair, but I'm not going to frame an innocent man even if it is to save Michael. That makes us no better than Sonny. And what's left? I don't know. So I'm not going to go see. You all right? Yeah. Hey, detective. Um. Uh, yeah. Of course, I'm fine. That's a lie. Uh. Actually, I'm. I'm. I'm not okay at all. I. I don't think I will be for the next few months. I mean, maybe a couple of years, but they never really know for these. For these things for sure, I guess. Are they yours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're mine. Uh, Cam's the older one and Jake's the little guy. <laughs> they're pretty freaking adorable. <laughs> little one with the blonde hair. I want one. Just like that. Custody, I guess. I've been working with Lucky and uh, a bunch of other people to try and get you released. Trying to get the judge to overturn his ruling and give you a suspended sentence. I think an appeal could take longer than my actual sentence. Well, everything's on the table, not just the appeal. We hit a few dead ends, but we're not giving up. I'm not giving up until I get you home. Lucky, you can save yourself the trouble. 
My dad's already working on getting me out. He's going to get me released from prison very soon. Law, and I love to win, and I love being smart. I really do. And I know it sounds arrogant, but it's, it's the truth. Do you know what my IQ is? No, why would you? And I'm not even going to tell you, because a lot of people get intimidated. Well, I, I don't know if I'd be intimidated. I, I appreciate intelligence. You know, I'm a really competitive person, and it's, and it's fun. You know, I get this rush when, when you're standing in a courtroom and you've made a point, and, and a really brilliant woman like Diane Miller gets a look on her face like, like she's going to throw up because she knows I just scored big time. Mm. And then you just go home and, and pour a glass of wine and you start to think. What about the babies? What about the babies? I love them. I always have. I see a baby, a, a, a toddler like your little boy and... Jake. And I'm done for. You know, six is an amazing age, too. You and know, I really all... should have one, you know, my whole life. I just, at least I should have one baby because I'm really good with them. Mm. I was the best babysitter in my building when I was a kid. Really? I would, I could put a baby to sleep faster than anyone. And I would just rock them and, and sing to them, you know, take me out to the ball game. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid, but I was good, and, and it worked. No, I'll have to remember that. And then my mom, you know, she'll call me and she'll, she'll ask me if I... Cam, take it easy. I plan to have kids, and, and Cam. will I do that? And Sorry. It's okay. <clears throat> and she... And what would happen is I... There just never seems to be the right guy or, or the right time, and, and my mom stopped asking. Wow. So... And now Dr. Lee says my biological clock is ticking, and it, can you hear it? Oddly enough, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, God, it's really loud. Yeah, it's really loud. <sighs> but you know what? You try to find a guy who will commit, let alone who wants children? I mean, how many fathers are out here actually playing with their kids? I mean, did you really want kids? Yeah. Yes, I did. I mean, it's, it's, it's complicated, but... No, I know it. I know. But do you really like being with them? I mean, it's not like a obligation because they want to give your give their mom time to, to get a manicure or you know a nap or something. Because most men think raising babies is a dream, mm. and they think it's an obligation, and they think that no, they have something I better don't. to do. No. I think mean, being a father is more important to me than anything. See, I've got this theory when. When we're older and we're looking back on our lives, all the, the stuff that we, we put so much energy into, like all of our professional accomplishments, it's just not going to seem as important as they do now. You know? Like how many arrests I made or whether or not I became a, a person of influence in the community. None of that's going to matter. But did I love my children? Did I, did I spend time with them? Did I really invest myself in their lives? And the only thing that's going to matter, really, is the relationships with the people we love. All that other stuff, as rewarding as it is, it's just going to seem like dust in comparison. Oh my God. Are there any more like you at home? <laughs> Me for you right now. He's working on it. On what? No one's gonna hurt me and risk payback from my dad. Do you know how many people want revenge when they hear the name Corinthos? We don't have a chance. Like I said, my dad's already working on that. Michael, don't get stupid. Putting your faith in your father is the reason you're in lockup in the first place. 